This is for the clutch, 13 inch floor mount drill press, 3 quarter horsepower motor, 5 eighths inch chuck capacity, 3 and a quarter inch vertical stroke, 120 volts, gooseneck LED light, 45 degree tilt on the table, chuck key storage, it includes one chuck key, one hex wrench, excuse me, two hex wrenches, and one chuck key release. The weight, the box weighs approximately 200 pounds. It's pretty hefty. Uh, I ordered it from Northern Tool and Equipment in Rochester, Minnesota. Took approximately a week and a half to get it, business days. It measures, the box measures uh, 3 foot 8 inches tall. Nineteen inches wide, <clears throat> about eleven inches deep. That'll tell you whether you have to use a SUV or a small trailer, or if you can fit it in your car. Looks like I picked the correct side to uh, lay it down on. <laughs> the directions are right up on top, that's good. This is model 49383. I'll show you a close up of uh, how it's packed. There's the table right there. There's the chuck. The key, there's the base, the handles, some bolts, and uh, the motor's right down there. Turn over the base, and here's the LED light. Looks like the styrofoam did its job. I want to be able to uh, get it through the doorway so whatever I put under it has to fit through that. This is a small doorway. I'm going to make it 28 inches max. Alright, got the table off. That's enough to lift the styrofoam off. Alright. Show you another close up here. So that's the top of the base. Top of the base is over there. That uh, old 4x4 is what I'm going to put it on. Alright. There's the shaft. The entire unit there. Okay. And the base for table. There's the degrees and all that. Looks like we're good to go. Alright, so the manual says use an adjustable wrench and uh, line up these holes. Use an adjustable wrench instead of <clears throat> telling you what size it is. It's 17 millimeter. Once all the bolts are down to the surface, then snug them down. 
feels like it's about a quarter of a turn. And now level it. <clears throat> so far, I got it level. This is the part where you're going to want to either not be afraid of grease or put some plastic gloves on or something. So, I can't say I'm too impressed with uh, how it was built. I can't get enough light in there to show you. There's not a perfect ring in here. It doesn't look as good in reality as it does on film, I guess is what I'm saying. So, take this and put it down there until it sits on that base and then tighten those up with one of the Allen wrenches that's provided and then uh, make sure you put your uh, thread shaft on and it doesn't matter which way you go it doesn't matter which direction you put it on because the threads go the same way no matter how you put it Tighten those up. Alright, so <clears throat> take off the retaining ring with the smaller Allen wrench. Don't get it too loose, you'll lose it. This is basically just going to sit in the extra space and be right at your right hand. Take this, take this, take this over here. Oh, I see. I think you're supposed to put, let's learn together, shall we? Put it on the teeth first. to the retaining ring stage. Okay, if you get annoyed with bad English like I do, you can tell that this was printed outside the country. <clears throat> so, it says, uh, uh, step 3A, take the retaining ring off and table bracket. Alright, so the pictures shown on this manual are extremely fuzzy computer drawings. I mean, they are fuzzy. Alright, so we've got the table support sitting here. And snug it up so you, you don't have to worry about anything. Okay, so we're going to loosen this up. And we're going to drop the table right in. 
this is what you're going to be able to put any support bolts through when you want to build your own tables. Next is to install the crank handle. Note the Allen screw in there. And I don't know if the camera can see. Oh, okay, there's a retaining ring right there. <clears throat> 